Cecilia. We know kung gaano ka close to your parents. Did you have to consult them? And did you also consult your partner? Nasumoy. Um, actually, this bit, when this was pitched to us also, my parents were also present. So no need, they were there by chance. Um, generally, naman kasi they were very supportive and they kind of just let me do what I think I should be doing. Yung parang inahayaan na nila ako to decide. So everybody's just been supportive. There were no like qualms or no, there was no discussion anymore. It was like, okay, good luck, congratulations. Ganun lang. And does this mean you're willing to, you're ready to take on more mature roles then in terms of your acting? Well, I feel like I'm 30, so <laughs> I should be, ideally, you know what? I think um, that's really it. I, I mean, if it comes to me, then game. But if it doesn't, then no need naman. Like I said, this is just showing that you can be wholesome and sexy at the same time. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Hi, Ria. Chris, congratulations. Talagang no? ginulat mo kami. Ako din, nagulat din po ako. Huwag po kayo magalala. Ipag-alap ko na lang doon sa tanong ni Kate kasi parang hindi mo nasagot na what's your um, boyfriend's reaction ba? Uh, your, uh, uh, the new chapter of your life. I pressed it again when she asked me. He's supportive. Naman po. He's been very supportive throughout this whole thing. So, there's no issue that now, of course, the calendar girl is a lot of fun to play with you. Wow! I think more than being fantasized about, naman, the whole point of this calendar again is to advocate for issues at hand. And right now, body dysmorphia is such a thing with social media. And I think like if that's the message we're getting across, okay na kada. Mm -hmm. And does this mean ba niya na you're going sexy na de, na rin, movie wise? Yung sa pagtanggap mo ng mga projects like may expect may expect na ba namin magbibiba max ka na rin? <laughs> I, I'm trying to star magic po. <laughs> I'm star magic po. Um, by the way po, again like I said earlier, if the role comes and it's something that's Parang that excites me or something that keeps me curious as an actress, then maybe. But if it doesn't, and then not necessarily. And last question ko na lang, since parang late bloomer ka niya, sabi mo you're 30 na, tapos ngayon parang dumarating sa'yo mga ganitong opportunities, uh, ibig bang sabihin parang mas focus ka pa rin sa career ngayon? Or you're ready na for another, uh, or settling down this year kung sakasakali? Parang wait lang. Things are still going so well in my career. There's a lot of things that are gonna come out this year. I have a lot of things to look forward to. If that's what's what the universe will allow for me to get. But right now, I'm enjoying how my career is going. And I think my timeline just goes to show that you don't have to stick to a certain timeline that people dictate or people say you should have. Like, just because I'm 30 and it's only now I'm having these opportunities, it doesn't mean that um, other people can't also, you know, like, if it happened for me now, it can happen for anybody also. Thank you, Ria. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. And questions? Yes, Miss Tessa Mauricio Ariola, the lifestyle Hi. editor of Manila <laughs> Times. You were together in Cannes, in, in Paris, right? No, Where were you together? My mom. Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tessa? But she did send the shit around for Christmas. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tessa? Congratulations, I'm sorry, all the way here. But, um, you know, you said you are using this platform, you know, to, to encourage body positivity. And alam naman natin in showbiz, no? It's the environment. Lahat ng tao, laging nagpapapayat. Everybody's on a, a perpetual diet and they're always into their looks. But you carried yourself um, wonderfully in the industry. I mean, you, you know, your work shows it. Um, people know you, people admire you. Uh, how did you, you know, like, how do you um, parang sort of um, ignore the pressure that I have to be a certain uh, waistline or I have to be a certain sort of look? I'd be lying if I said that I'm unaffected by all of that, you know? I'm, I'm human the man. I do feel that once in a while. But I think it's a matter of recalibrating my mindset na Kanwari, I work out. I don't work out because I hate my body, but rather I want to take care of it and because I love it. And I think that made all the difference for me. Because before, I also ha used to have dysmorphia, and sometimes it still hits me. But now it's just a lot more looking towards it as a positive thing 
rather than being like dreading working out because I hate my body type of thing. And yeah, like like I said, it makes all the difference. And I think yeah, it's a matter of turning off all the noise because it should only be the opinions of people that matter to you that should affect you. So yun lang naman. I mean, for this one, I'm already um, counting on negative comments then, diba? Lahat naman may ganon. I'm already mentally prepared for that. I like really psyched myself. Because this is such a good... I mean, if you weigh things out like this, of course you'll see, okay, what, what could go wrong? What could... And I'm an overthinker like that. And I already thought, na yeah, for sure, people will have a lot of things to say. But would that should that stop me from talking about my advocacy and bringing it out there? No, 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 So, yun, no, Wonderful answer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, a second question now. I just want to know which part of your body is your favorite? My eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> um, um, minus the head. Like I like physically. Physically, yeah. I think my butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's the only thing I got going for me, Char. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you do look great, and um, I, everybody's very happy that you are this year's calendar girl for white. So um, congratulations and congratulations to the Nipia family as well. Okay, our next question is Chacha from PTV4. Hi Chacha, and then we have a question from Dina Chan and Mr. Noni Nikasho. Chacha? Oh yes, good afternoon. So I have a question for Ms. Ria. So ano po yung sa tingin ninyo yung um, lamang or kaibahan ninyo dun sa mga previous ang calendar girls ng White Castle? I think every we all have our strengths. Not to say may lamang ako or anything. Wala akong lamang. If anything, what my asset would be is that it's the body positivity that I'm advocating for. Yun lang naman. And uh, what's your um, since you um uh, uh, ano ay about sa body positivity? So. Maybe have a message to sa mga um, tao ang conscious sa kanilang body. I mean, it's understandable. It's valid to be conscious about your body, and you know, like I said earlier, just recalibrate it. You know, love your body instead of hating it. Because if you start loving it, and then good things will follow. All good things come with love. So I think that's the only way that you'll really be able to fully embrace yourself. I know it's easier said than done, no? Pero it. I think it's really just. Looking at the things that are good about yourself, then, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chacha. We have a question from Dina Chan from Business Mirror. I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Lindao, how has the White Castle market changed throughout the years? Mm -hmm. Well, since it's an old brand, it's a 60-year-old brand, of course, we we have to keep marketing to the younger generation because we don't want to have 60, well, we have to be relevant to the market. So they're getting younger and younger. That's why if you will notice from our marketing campaigns, we also try to make it relevant to them so that they appreciate the brand and the, and the images and the concepts that go with the brand. No? So, um, it's, uh, that is, I think, the challenge for older brands, that we stay relevant to our market. Because um, the market, let's say, 40 years ago, of course, they already move on to other products, you know, they, uh, they have different tastes, different uh, interests. So we know our market and we try to keep relevant, to be relevant to that particular market segment that we're targeting. Um, my next question before later on, or later on, um, how did um, your getting Sasa Girl as uh, ambassador help the brand? Or how did it help promote your brand? Well, for me, uh, it gave us uh, access um, to like, like a new market, which is the LGBT community, that's one. The second one was it strengthened our um, social media assets because most of our followers now are are netizens, right? Mga internet, as we say, and that's really like a market, uh, like like an area where we struggled previously as an old brand, right? Yung, of course, lagi naman yung problem na White Castle for the past how many years was 
hindi na siya iniinom ng younger people because yan yung iniinom ng tatay ko ng lolo ko. So, we wanted to not really rebrand, we kept the name, pero we wanted it to appeal to a younger generation. So if you go to our Facebook page, medyo meme product siya. We do a lot of memes, like we do a lot of, you know, um, um, current issues. Kailangan mabilis ka right now with social media. And then si Sasa Girl was very um, uh, instrumental then in, in giving us content that was relevant. So, um, um, if it was success, success, yung sales show was that it was. Um, we, we, we had uh, we had three sales um, this year than previously. So, um, like I guess, mali yung mga bashers na nagsabi na, na malulugi kami because we did that. Um, so yeah, um, I, I think those are the two things. The new market, the LGBT community, and that um, we were able to strengthen our internet assets. Yeah.